what I was gonna do.
January 27th, 2022. I am wrapping up the editing for Keep Your Distance, which is uh, the very last song I wrote for this album and the most recent song I wrote ever, which kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? A little bit about the song. Uh, this was actually not meant to be on the record. I thought I was done with nine songs and then I uh, saw an ad for this cool new little trick to put on a guitar, which is a modern, newer version of the EVHD tuna, a company out of, I believe they're out of Germany. Uh, it's called the Red Bishop Drop Shuttle, which does the same thing as the EVHD tuna, except it's got a little lip on it. It's got this little lip on it, which makes it easier for you to turn on and off with one finger, where with the EVH, you kind of had to grab it with two or three fingers. This is an easier flick on and off. And when I got it and installed it for the first time, I found myself testing out the quickness of it and the intonation to see if it would stay and I kind of wrote this riff and that's how the song evolved was off of the first time f***ing around with this uh, tool uh, and uh, that's how that's how it turned into the song. When I came up with the chorus line, keep your distance, I, I've been trying, like not trying but I've, I've been tending to write songs about just kind of staying away from people in life and just all the bullshit of stuff. It's like I just kind of want to be alone and vanish and disappear. And I came up with this chorus, Keep Your Distance, which I guess you could, if, if you want to uh, compose your own thoughts about what this song means, it, it could lean towards social distancing, I guess, in a way, but not. And then uh, when I was uh, puzzle piecing the lyrics together, I had a space between the uh, the pre-chorus going into the chorus, and I needed something there, and then the line came to me, someone told me, which flips the chorus on its ass, so it's not so much about me wanting to vanish and f*** all, but somebody said, f***ing keep your distance, I don't want you around me. See what I did there? So I thought that that was a kind of a, kind of a cool twist on the whole song. So when I was recording, the tracks for the song, I decided to shoot video for it because I think, I thought it would have been a cool uh, demo for uh, the Drop Shuttle company because this song was written around their product. So I started videotaping myself during the recording, especially guitar parts. Then I filmed myself tracking the bass part. Uh, I didn't do much tracking the vocal part because that tends to get done over and over until you sing it right and then you kind of fix it. So there's there's a lot more takes when doing vocals, at least for me. So I wanted this video to look like a studio uh, tracking video, which I do uh, all of it here at home. This is uh, Shut Up Studios. So back to this album. Uh, new album is called The Beautiful Darkness, which was named after one of the songs, which is what I usually tend to do. Um, it's the fourth album within two years. I've never been this prolific in song, songwriting in my life. It's very weird how I'm doing stuff now. It's 
I used to wait and see, well, if some idea comes to me, maybe I'll take a day off and try and put, put something together. Now it's like, if I have a day off, I will come up with 10 riff ideas, and then whatever lyrics happen to stick to those, then I'll turn it into something surprisingly rather quickly. Like, uh, like Han Solo said in episode four, you know, sometimes I surprise even myself. Thanks for watching me ramble. Hope you enjoyed the song. You're gonna dig this album. I really like this album. I've been very happy with the stuff that's been coming out of me lately. And uh, enjoy. Pass it on. Thanks. Bye.